you know, I was about to be like, what's behind door number two? But, you know, because I had to fight my way through this room, it felt like I was making my way forward through unknown areas. Then I remembered this is just, this is the place I already was. <laughs> This is all known territory. It's just I had to re-earn access to it. Alright, uh, what's up with this room? Spencer family emblem is carved into the doorknob. No. You can't stop me. Oh, the armor key. I, th I mean, it's better not to kill him, right? Because otherwise bad thing happen. Oh, the bad birds are back from before. The ones I specifically avoided dealing with. Title is written as follows. Bring the light of truth to the three spirits. Okay. Hey, Jill, try on your flashlight. <laughs> uh... A picture of a valiant wearing a valiant, all right, wearing a bracelet. It's set in yellow stained glass. There's a switch here. Press it? No. Let's, let's, let's not be hasty here. Ka, ka. Sage wearing a necklace. It's in red stained glass. A saint wearing a crown. Yellow stained glass. Yellow, red, yellow. You want to? You want to go? You want to grow? You want to go? Your blood curdling cra. God, you're a bad. It's just a bad sound for a bird. I really like it if you didn't attack me. There's just so many things like to attack me. Oh, there's more of them. Okay. Okay, should I be worried? They're everywhere. Picture of a saint wearing a crown. But it's the same ones, right? What about you? Lisa, protected by the three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. Well, the bracelet's orange, the necklace is purple, and the crown is green. Maybe pressing these switches changes what color they are? Let's try to make the crown green. You're the one with the crown, right? Yeah. So what happens when I press your switch? Okay. Now you're green. Okay. So these just toggle stuff, and then that probably enters my answer. So necklace, so you should be purple. Cool. But that looks orange. Is orange a color, or red? Not yellow. Green. What? What does it say? Does it say, does it say he's wearing a... Oops. Bracelet, yeah. I mean... The other option's very wrong, so this must be it, right? No! 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 <laughs> Birds, why? Uh, this dimension sucks. Uh, <laughs> no, there's an enemy in here too. Shit. All right. Uh. Uh. Shit. Do I have to shoot all the birds with my gun? What? Okay, so they uh, they reset. 
Oh, uh, not really damaged. So that, I got that going for me. Protected by three spirits. A woman wearing a bracelet, necklace, and crown. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I was uh, I was just trying to go through the dialogue. I'm sorry. 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 Oh, it's fine. It's fine. No damage was taken. As long as this guy doesn't catch me, please never be by the door. Oh God, here he comes. He's coming for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. 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 All right, birds bad. Stop making birds mad. Eh, mad. Birds bad. Okay. Okay. It's because the light comes from behind you. Okay. That's why there's a two-sided room. So I, I clicked and it just went back and forth between two colors, so I thought, oh, that's why, so it's not going to work then. But no, I had to push it from the other side. Now we have green, purple, and orange. Because f fuck primary colors. Green, purple, and orange. Am I- are we good now then? We're gonna- we're gonna not peck me to death? Please? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Extreme reaction, opening an entire goddamn wall. Oh, hey, it's this place. Oh. Another death mask. And this, yeah, this is the locked door that was only openable from the other side, from the side, yeah. Hey! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Oh. Oh. It's a shortcut. That means I didn't have to fight all those zombies. I could have left them alive. <laughs> I could have tried- While they were all spilling out of the window, I could have run past them in a panic. And then if I solved this puzzle, this door would open, and now I have an access to the main hall, and no enemies between here and there. Which means I could take care of the zombie that's actually still in that hallway, that is in the way. Instead of all those- instead of killing those four. Uh, well now I know- <laughs> That's definitely one of the things that'll change if I have to rewind. I'm doing the XCOM approach. For those of you that watch me play XCOM 2 on this channel, I don't... My my, my saves coming strategy for this kind of game... Well, that's, I can't really compare the two kinds of games directly except for their save... Except for my approach to the saving, is that I keep committing to all of the mistakes that happen and all the bad stuff that happens until it becomes, like, unfixable, and then I repair, then I rewind to a certain point. That happened in my playthrough of XCOM 2, is I did fail. I didn't actually get the game over, necessarily. I didn't go that far, but once I saw the writing on the wall, I was like, okay. I have had a series of, com of compounded failures, and, uh, we've reached the point where this is not going to fix or get better. Ugh, it's getting on this camera now. Don't know what that's gonna be. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Should I even still be carrying my kerosene stuff around? I mean, if they're gonna give me the access, I should probably go back. There's no kerosene left in any of the known locations, and there's no ammo left in the shotgun. So I can put those three items away, and I can maybe pick up the other key or something. Just something that actually might be useful as opposed to stuff that's otherwise just empty. Admittedly, the lighter has been used once for a puzzle. I used it to light a candle. So, 
You never know, maybe a context for the lighter will show up again. Is he on this head again? Yes, he is. I love this guy. He's great. I love how he's always in my way. Just here to remind me that he's here. You know what? Let's save. It occurred to me. We're like 40 minutes since my last save. And I've done enough that I don't want to- I wouldn't want to redo all of that if I died. Even though if I did die, I could then do smarter things. But, you know. You know. <laughs> Not in the biggest hurry to undo everything that ever goes wrong. That's what the game is. Alright, shotgun gun. Oh, right, save. Here's hoping I'll find more ink ribbons soon. Which is kind of just the background concern at all times in this game. Probably a certain element of, uh... I think of, like, Estus flasks, or really just souls in Dark Souls. Just that adage of, like, those who really need them don't have enough of them, and those who have enough of them don't really need them. Because the contradict- the con the, there's a conflict that happens in Dark Souls, which is that when you die, you lose your stuff. Generally speaking. Including your souls, you need to both buy things and to level up. So, the more you struggle with the game, the more likely you are to lose your souls. But the better you are at the game, the more likely you are to get through an entire playthrough without ever losing your souls. And then people are like, you're over-leveled, if you're in the specific context of me uh, doing a Let's Play people can watch, and stuff like that. Uh, people are like, you're over-leveled! And I'm like, well, I didn't grind or anything, I just spent the experience the game gave me. When I played through everything once, that's not- I mean, if, I, if that makes you over-leveled, that's weird. Uh, but you'd be underleveled if you, if you, if you, you know, if you, if you died ever. <laughs> so, just getting to the point where you don't ever lose your souls in a given playthrough means you're going to be noticeably more powerful than you would be otherwise. <clears throat> Similarly, I think about how like there's a fixed amount of ink ribbons in this game. Probably, I think Resident Evil or some of them might have that system where like. The worse or better off you're doing, the amount of resources might change a bit. I think there's at least some Silent Hill or Resident Evil or something games that do that mechanic. Some survival horror games deal with that mechanic where you get different re amounts of reward at times based on how well you're doing in order to like sort of try to salvage a playthrough of somebody who's really struggling or to provide a challenge for people that aren't struggling, for example. Should I have brought that emblem over here to try to open that door? Because it has the crest on it? Probably. Maybe. But yeah, the ink ribbons have a similar effect of like, you're, you're so meandering and awkward and fumbling and struggling and in your first playthrough, but as you get better at the game and more experienced, you'll be more confident and have a better plan, and then you need fewer ink ribbons. And so you end up with a surplus of them. Excuse me. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Alright. I've just never tried this door. Or even really looked at it, I think. I think I never went down this hallway. Admittedly, it's very visible on the map. Not very visible in the room. It looks like the room's just a dead-end hallway. At first glance. That's what I thought it was. Are we in a green? We're in a green area. Okay. But there could be bads. Are there bads? Is that? <gasps> There's something written in the indentation. Shit. It's gonna be why I can't open this door, isn't it? The defiler of the accursed coffin. Oh. I need to find the death masks, don't I? God, Jesus. Jesus. 
Get off of me. Yeah, let go of me. You dead yet? The hell of a struggle fighting something here that's not even on the screen. Yeah. Huh. The Defiler of the Accursed Coffins. I can't open that first floor door in the front room, I believe. I think I've tried that already. That one door is apparently broken or something. Down there has got to be the accursed coffin. I need, I need one more mask. I tried the door on the left and right and the, on the left side of the screen. They both don't open, right? Hmm. This is not a good sign. How are we doing? We're doing okay-ish. Yeah. Hey, which which spot am I missing here? Did I ever go back? I never went back, did I? Yeah. The red, the one red room on that floor. I think I was out of inventory space, and then I never went back. There was like the weird, you, we pushed like a bookcase out of the way. Oh, am I gonna be able to make it through this hallway? Yes, okay, cool. Ah, uh, I can ignore that guy until I find whatever comes from the last death mask. God, they make the worst noises. Don't they actually sound like that too? Like, aren't there some birds that just make the worst goddamn noises? It's like, I like, I like the part where you sound like a dying person, like a blood curdle voice. It's a real good aesthetic for you. It should be right through. Yeah, because it was past. Richard! We're doing. Yeah, we, we have we have three slots to work with. There was like. A, I think in particular there was like a piece of paper in there that I found. I like pushed the bookcase out of the way, went to a back room. Please, no surprise zombies that weren't here before. There's not going to be someone in here, is there? Okay, I couldn't remember. There we are. Is that all that's in here? That's all that's in here. Okay. I was trying to remember why I didn't have the item from here, and I was, then I realized, oh, wait. That was when everything was full. He is just dead. <laughs> just there permanently to guilt me forever. All the other dead people disappear, but not him. Because he was a person. He was one of our characters. So I get to just wallow in his death forever. And ever. The beginning of the last... The beginning and the last sections of the music are missing. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. 
Well, actually, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, oh yeah, because the page is ripped. No, that's the... That's like a thing that the pages are bound in. What do you call that, a binder clip? I don't think that's the right thing to call it. All right. I just go down? Let's go down. One of the few places I still have to look for is the this hallway, which has one locked door halfway through the hallway, and then it has the end staircase that goes down stairs to, I think, another, another locked door. So hopefully one of my two keys works there. There's also a... Ah, uh, shit. Isn't there also a dude here? Which might be why I was trying to avoid this situation. No? Did I get him? Maybe I got him. There's no further use for this key? Oh. Oh, well that's reassuring. It just gets rid of it when you run out of uses for it. Okay. So there's a sword key door somewhere that I still haven't gone through, apparently. Because... I just I just used up my my armor key for good. Cool. That means I can at least know when it's done. I don't spend the rest of the game wandering around with it. Confused. A wooden counter made of oak gives off a pleasant aroma like fine wine. Piano. Uh I can't see what I'm doing, which makes me nervous. I really wish I could see what I was doing. My character, like, refused to go around that dresser, so they really wanted me to do this. Do you take the musical score? Yes. Moonlight? Moonlight Sonata. I thought it was spelled with an A, not E at the end. Moonlight Sonate. <laughs> it's titled Moonlight Sonata. No, it's not. It's titled Moon... Light. Sonate. Three words. You, no, you can't. Don't lie to me. I can read it from here. Is that more of the... I mean, that just found two pieces of music. Okay. Are you complete now? Is that... The whole thing? The chunk of the map's still red. Alright, so can I... just play the song, I guess? I'm learning things, like how Jill canonically knows how to play the piano. Does that mean that Chris also knows how to play the piano? Does he also have the same puzzle? Or mechanic at least, or... A? The gold emblem. Uh. Stop. It's galled all around the outer edges due to frequent fitting. Okay. This makes sense to me. Is that the is that the Is that the garden that was full of all the tentacle monster alien tentacles? Yeah, it's got to be. Yeah, and the and the lions are like right around the corner. Because this is all so close together. Okay. Well, I think I understand. 
Where am I? Wait, where's the door? Wait, is that the... There's something written in the corner of the picture. Commemorating the completion of the mansion. Oh, it's a photo. It almost looks like Rusty Lake. How do I leave? What? Wait, what? That is the door? It, do it does not look the like the door, but also I'm pretty sure I was pressing A on it already. What was that bang? Was that just the door closing? Okay, so I think what's going on is that's probably the broken shotgun mechanic. Which we haven't actually had a chance to use in this game, but I know it from 7. As I called out when I found broken shotgun. Which is, they gave me a shitty emblem, and then there's this golden emblem. So I'm probably supposed to take the shitty emblem and put it where the gold emblem is. As an Indiana Jones weight trick to hold it off. And then it'll probably stay open so I can take the good one. At that point, either you open the family crest door with it somehow, even though it's a giant emblem, so I don't know how that would work. Or, you use it to put back where this one was, like you replace the, this one, and then it's happy with you for some reason, I guess. I just get a kick out of the fact that that was not like... That was not like a simple little like, press these five keys, like music, like piano puzzle. Like, you had, she had to play the Moonlight Sonata. Like just boom, go for it. Like that's a thing that people just know how to do. Like, if I, if I found an escape room that required that of me, and I had to actually do it correctly, and I could not just like press the notes in the correct order, but actually do it like on a time and everything. That would just be the end of me. Ooh. Trevor's Diary. November 24th, 1967. Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion. Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person who knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family... I hope they are alright. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you are safe. November 26th, 1967. How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said that they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait. Even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab coats and something like, most likely your family is already. I pray for their safety. November 27th. I some somehow I managed to get out of that room. But getting out of this mansion won't be as easy. I have to get past all the booby traps, tiger eyes, gold emblem. I have to try and remember for my own sake. Yes, yes, I get it. And booyah. Yeah? Yeah. Nailed it. And now... Now it's a green room. 